Welcome back. We are here on the tour looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for um, Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the bell button and the like button. And uh, if you want to join our signal service, we have a signal service over at Patreon. We already have uh, over 50 uh, traders active on Patreon. We have been open for a week so that is amazing success and um, it is going really well and you'll also get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities markets where we basically um, show where we enter the market where we're supposed to leave the market and also uh, where you're supposed to take your uh, take profit and stop losses and so on so a bigger analysis compared to this one so we'll start by looking at uh, the US dollar index. Um, so first of all, looking at the technical indicators for the US dollar index, are they are fairly bullish. That means that we are going to at least test the 50 moving average. Probably not tomorrow, but on Wednesday or Friday, we are going to rally towards the 50 moving average. We have significant support underneath here. And because these indicators are turning around, the stochastic and CZI and the, um, yeah, both these oscillators, then it is a sign that we are going to go higher. And that will pressure prices of, of oil. It will pressure the price of, of uh, precious metals, indices, stocks, all of it down because there's a negative correlation. So if you look at oil, Oil has been on an absolutely stupid rally since the uh, pronunciation, uh, pronunciation, but the, uh, the announcement of the new coronavirus vaccine. And to be fairly honest, when I say it's stupid, it's really stupid because there's nothing changed in the world economy. Even though if you implemented the vaccine today, we would still have the same demand in the world economy as we have any at this moment. So we are rallying into oblivion at this point. We are running into to, um, major resistance here. We have tested this area several, several times. We may well break this area as we did over here. That may be the case. But, but if we break it and go higher, then we'll certainly find enormous amount of resistance here at the 30 uh, 3.5 dollar range i don't expect us to get that close we may go a little bit higher and then turn around towards the 50 moving average at 39 and if that breaks we'll go down to the 200 moving average which actually i think is going to be our our low point so this would be make sense because this is also where we found previous support in the past so we may rally again tomorrow above this area here, and then we have a pullback towards the 50 moving average. And the reason why I say that is because these technical indicators are still not ready to turn around. They're still, all of them, fairly bullish, but it's just a matter of time before they turn around because they're just, nothing has changed. The demand in the world economy for oil is the same today as it was prior to the announcement of the coronavirus vaccine. So just keep that in mind. This just makes no sense whatsoever. It's pure speculations that everything will turn back to normal today. And that's not going to happen. So if you look at natural gas, we can see that we have started to rally. And this is was probably our best trade um, over at uh, Patreon, where we added a buying signal right here around 2.8. Eight nine six, and that was absolutely fantastic. So we have this trend line, the support line here, and when you basically get to this point, that is a buying opportunity. We have rallied today nearly four percent, a massive gain for everybody that entered that trade, and uh, we most likely will target first of all uh, three point one. And if that breaks, we'll target these very highs, probably around here, 2.26, and the very highs, 2.3. Uh, this is a market that is going to go higher. We just look at these oscillators here, the, the CCI and the stochastic. 
they have turned around. So has the RSI is at 50. So there's a lot of room to the upside. So still possible to enter this trade. It is just uh, going to take off. We may see a little bit choppiness and then we're going to take off to the upside. No interest in basically selling this. That would be a perfect way to lose money, as a matter of fact. So if you look at copper, copper is still trading, well, in the middle of nowhere. We have the highs here of uh, 3.2 and we have the lows at the 50 moving average. And there, and we are here. We're right in the middle and there's no point of basically selling this or buying this. We need basically need to go to these highs, turn around in order to sell or go to the lows and turn around in order to buy. So we're trading basically sideways at this point. Break below opens the door to, for a sell. Break below these highs opens the door for a, basically a buy. Technical indicators for copper are all over the place. To be fair, don't stay, stay but just far away from this. This is just is not a market that is interesting or uh, possible to trade at, at least it's a daily chart at this point. So look at gold. We can see that we have tried to rally today, pull back. And at this point, it's just a matter of time before we break these lows, uh, basically the historic lows and go towards the 1800. There's just too much support resistance above here in order for us to get through. We tried to rally. This is basically what happened. We fell just completely apart. So we need to pull back towards the 20 in order to enter for a long, uh, long hole for gold. And before that happens, this is just a market that it is nearly impossible to trade. We need to pull back before in order to enter this market. So it's very similar thing for silver where we also tried to rally to get a day we you, we rallied yes last week came above the 50 moving average and then bang to the downside we can see that it's similar to gold we have this enormous amount of resistance within this area here and we need a pullback and we need to break um, these lows here in order to go towards the 20 dollar range and that is basically where you should enter this market. Not here, not at this point. This is just not a good market to enter at this point. So, Kokoa, no. It did exactly what we expected it to do. We are rallying towards the 200 moving average, pulling back. And at this point, we are trading in the highs of 2.7. We are trading at the lows of 2.0 and uh, and at this point we're just in the here in the middle it is possible to enter a sell if we go down here because we would target 2.2 and then also 2.0 um, if we rally above the 50 moving average then we are of course going towards these very highs there's nothing that prevents us probably this area here would be a little bit resistant but the highs would be targeted but we are not there yet at all and the technical indicators for the cocoa are very, very, very mixed. So, yes, I haven't traded this for a very long time. There's a reason because I like to trade at the edges here and here and not in the middle at all. So if you look at platinum, platinum has been doing the same thing as it has been doing for a very long time. We have the highs here. We have the lows here. And we have basically been trading within this range. Um, a break below this area here opens the door to this massive amount of support underneath. Open the, and break above this opens the door to this massive resistance above here. So that's the reason why we are trading in between the 50 and the, two, and the 200 moving average. And it is, it is at, the, at this moment, it is also a nearly impossible market to enter because it's a pure gamble. Enter for a buy, it can go easily as well for uh, down. If you enter for a sell, then it can easily go up. So this is a perfect market to lose a lot of money and therefore don't enter this market. Technical indicators are all over the place. Some of them are bullish, some of them bearish, and that uh, should basically be a warning sign to everybody. Just stay away from this as long as you can. That's the point. So if you look at sugar, sugar is... 
becoming a viable trade. Uh, we are slowly going to go towards the 50 moving average, and that is going to be your buying opportunity. A break above this area here targets the very highest of 0 0.1588, but the real trade is basically going towards the 50 moving average. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average and these very lows. But at this point, we are in uptrend. There is no reason to expect this to, to go the other way. Um, so the main idea here is not to enter, no, buy, neither for a buy or a sell. It's basically the wait for this market to get close to the 50 moving average in order to buy. Technical indicators for sugar are uh, very mixed. MACD is bearish, my stochastic is bullish, um, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. So it's just a matter of uh, of patience and wait until you get the best opportunity to enter this market. So if you look at wheat, this is a is a possible trade because we are running into a support here. We're very close to the 50 moving average. And we are also getting very close to this trend line. If you get it up here, we're getting very close to that trend line. We'd actually touch the trend line here. So this is a possible market to enter. A break below this opens the door to the 50. Break below the 50 opens the door to these lows of 546. And a, a, a bull run from here opens the door to 635. So... Technical indicators for this are looking very promising. We are most likely going to go significantly higher within the next few trading days. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newer videos, newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want the full technical analysis and to join um, uh, 50, uh, 50 other traders that are active on Patreon at this point. So, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.